Maybe we had played three. We did. Okay. So you can't play when you played three. You can't play a, a fourth one. We struck out Altman. See, that's what I'm saying. We're like the open AI board of directors, man. Okay. They're taking a screenshot of it. So we're going to go play somebody else. They're probably trying to get their heart rate down. 10 things I hate about you. I just think maybe, what about, what if we just hit them with like a save the last dance and see, see what they know about save the last dance. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anyone from Save the Last Dance made it to Brokeback Mountain. I'll give you a hint on the cast. It stars Julia Stiles, who is also the star of 10 Things I Hate About You. Zero fucks given. <laughs> Just need to name a second Julia Stiles movie. Well, a third one technically, because 10 Things I Hate About You is the first one, but... Mackay Pfeiffer's in nothing else? Bro, Mackay Pfeiffer's in 8 Mile. Yeah, but what do you, how do you get out of that? Uh, Eminem's in the interview, and now you're at Seth Rogen, and you can get to anywhere from Seth Rogen. Four wins, two losses, but a three-win streak. Dark Knight 2008. Understandable. I'm going to take you to um, Stranger Than Fiction by Maggie Gyllenhaal. And of course, Keith Kupfer Kupferer. Of course we knew that. Why is Ben banned? He's in so much shit. Yes, that's why he's banned. Maggie Gyllenhaal, we go straight to secretary. We make you have the answer here. Secretary. You got to get out by a James Spader. But you may not know a James Spader movie if you're 21 years old. Crash 1996. Skip Milled. Hi, Tomo. He wouldn't have had time to make Fargo, bro. He was making Crash. I feel like this is a David Cronenberg movie. With David Cronenberg, I have, I have lots of little tunnels and dead ends where I can eat you alive. <laughs> Hi, Tomo. We take these. Rematch? Okay. I don't take it personally. We go again. 11 wins, 2 losses, bro. <laughs> okay. Now nah, with a 5 win streak. Get your game face on. You go Spider-Man. I feel like I'm being led into some bands here. So I'm going to hit you with like an Evil Dead 2 and just see how you try to get your way out of that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you out of Spider-Man because I don't, I'm not comfortable in Spider-Man in case you have banned Sam Raimi. But then now that I think about it, I stayed in the Raimi-verse. They go Evil Dead 2003. Did you ban Bruce Campbell? You didn't ban Bruce Campbell. Now you're stuck here on a, on a three-strike Bubba Hotep. You can't pick Bruce C Campbell. I don't know who directed this, and I don't know if it has any other noteworthy actors in it. They skip me? <laughs> Ozzie Davis is in stuff. I don't know what, though. Um, lethal Weapon 3. The Expendables... Avengers Endgame. Um, Napoleon Dynamite. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I did. I lost because I didn't hit skip. 
Oh, man. The opponent left the battle. No. It's what I would have done in, in that situation. That's what I would have done. Fair enough. Yeah, that's how I would have did it. What the hell else is Ozzy Davis in? John Dies at the End is the same director. Okay, John Dies. Well, listen, I think it's, I guess it's possible this situation comes up again. We're not far away from Bruce Campbell. Ten things I hate about you. We'll start with the... I mean, where did we go last time? We went... No, they started first. We'll go Spider-Man. Now, now that we know it's... No links for... Sorry. Um, we'll go um, Bring It On. Then they go Spider-Man. I got confused. Ozzy Davis also in Do the Right Thing. Noted? Noted. They're going Melancholia. Okay. Melancholia. We go Elephant 2003. That's the wrong guy. Um... Okay, well, we'll just go phone booth then. We, we know we got a way out of this. I'm not going to be your second ex on Kirsten Dunst. It's just not happening. I always get Gus Van Zandt and Lars Von Trier confused. Phone booth. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland's in lots of... Oh, you're going straight for Colin Farrell? Okay, I'm going to take you to the Slam and Salmon then, starring Michael Clark Duncan. Let's see what you know about Broken Lizard. Take me back to the Green Mile. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I'm not going to kill you. Sam Rockwell in this? What about Matchstick Man? He is. Okay. Otherwise, I was, I was thinking about going to Kill Shot Armageddon, but like you're going to get your way out of Armageddon. So we might as well keep our tempo by not giving him a freebie. Three billboards. Okay. Now, I'm just trying to think. Moon has the Kevin Spacey way out, but you may not know that. Moon 2009. Otherwise, we're going like what? Jojo Rabbit? No, they, they found their way out. Okay. Um, we go Stigmata starring Kim Basinger. No links were found to this movie. It's a different movie. Okay, we go Prometheus Guy Pierce. LA Confidential. Great movie, by the way. Holy... If you haven't seen it, because it's, uh, it's so old. X-Men Days of Future Past 2014. Okay. Um, let's go in Bruges via the Peter Dinklage route. Never mind. Um, we will go X-Men 2000. Amazingly, no second X on that one. Logan. I want to abandon you on Patrick Stewart or Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Bad Education, 2019. Great movie, but a, a very understated character piece where he plays a school administrator in over his head in, in financial fraud. I, Tanya, okay. You've, you just knew that it had Alice and Janney, which is very impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm going to say The Emancipation of Harley Quinn. Lots of ways we could go with this. Barbie. How are we losing you on, on Margot Robbie? Um, it's probably not happening. I <laughs> say, uh, though, you know what? Maybe you don't know anybody in Suicide Squad except Margot Robbie. It's possible. It's possible. I don't, I don't know. I, I, Tanya, would have been my kill shot. For me personally, I'm not that familiar with the Robbie verse. But I'm not going big short. There's too many ways out. Enemy of the state, Will Smith. Will Smith, that's a tough one. I don't want to get stuck on a kill shot. Is this Gene Hackman? Can we play behind enemy lines? It is Gene Hackman. Okay, I don't know where that knowledge exists in my brain, but I appreciate it right now. That takes us to the Grand Budapest Hotel, which takes us to the menu. It's a battle, man. Zero wins, zero draws, zero losses. You don't know what they got. They're going the witch. I mean, I, you're not going to kill me on a lot of Anya Taylor-Joy's movies. I'm going to give you a way out here. I'm going to let you decide if you want to try the kill shot. 
because I think I got a super cool link back around the X-Men first class that might get multiple three X's if you play split, okay? That's all I'm saying. You don't know a third Anya Taylor-Joy movie. Okay, we're chilling. We're relaxing. Hello, Chibli, hello. Chibli, I don't know if you would be good at this, but this is the greatest game ever made. You know, you know modern movies. I, th I feel like if they dragged you into, oh, they would go Lego movie. Lego movie, Lego movie. I don't know who else is in this except for these three guys, which means that I'm gonna get a third X. So I'm gonna drop something like um, Pacific Rim on you. I'm relatively comfortable in the universe surrounding Pacific Rim. Like if you wanna hit me with a fist fight, we go Ice Cube, horrible bosses. We're right back in the Jennifer Aniston routine. Will Arnett's in the Lego movie. I guess we could always say like Lego Batman. Um, okay, so you Pacific Rim. I don't wanna go Guillermo del Toro on this one. What was I saying that we were gonna do? We were gonna go horrible bosses. Let's go horrible bosses. Third Charlie Day. You may not know the cast. We're in the Aniston verse now. The problem is, I know Will Arnett is Lego Batman. I didn't know he was in the first one. But is Will Arnett in any other movies except for Lego and Lego Batman? I know him from TV. Okay, you're taking me back to Bottle Rocket, huh? You're taking me back to Bottle Rocket. Okay, welcome to Isle of Dogs. Let's see those lifelines, buddy. Oh, he is in Blades of Glory. You're right. You're right. Rushmore his ass. Bro, it has Bill Murray in it. Like, have you guys thought about where you're abandoning your opponent for, for even a second? Coming out here, you're like, you know what would be a great kill shot? Avengers Infinity War. It's got 900 actors in it. Like, we, we gotta, you gotta find something a little bit more esoteric. They're OOO. I know they have infinite potential. Okay. It is kind of crazy that they dropped Bottle Rocket, but couldn't name a, a third Wes Anderson movie. I'm not saying it's sus. There's probably people out there like that that have seen, you know, only Bottle Rocket, and not, any, not the Royal Tenenbaums or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Run the Playmobil movie next time you get Anya Taylor-Joy. Chib! Chib, that's incredible technology. Okay, thank you for the info, Chib. That's, we can rematch on that one. I just feel like it has no one else in it. Well, I believe that the Playmobil movie also has Daniel Radcliffe in it, Chibli. I think you'll find that. I may be mistaken. I just, I saw the trailer once. I remember that. So what's going on here? What are we doing here? <laughs> Rematch? All right. They don't want the smoke. That's good tech, by the way. Someone said, remember you have Kirsten Dunst banned so you can be her second ex. Ooh, <laughs> great technology. Thank you. We lead them into the Kirsten Dunst labyrinth and then we abandon them. They use their cast lifeline on Bring It On. That's a good start. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Marie Antoinette Kirsten Dunst. Then I want to lead you, to, I'll take you to like Melancholia or maybe I'll take you to the Virgin Suicides and then find your way out of this. It does have Sofia Coppola. You might know Sofia Coppola. You, you played Marie Antoinette. It would have been better to go off of the Coppolas there, but.
You got to find your way. You don't, you can't be the third. You can't play Kristen Dunst here anymore. Small soldiers, close. That's a shape. Kirsten Dunst is in that, ergo they can't play it. Okay, find a game. We run it back. Okay, now this, this is a real gamer here at least. Seven wins, two losses, three draws. We're going to get a rally going. Bring it on. That's a good one. Me personally, I'd probably follow that with like a Spider-Man 2 and then see where you want to go from there. Cider House Rules. Very interesting. How about a, a Muppet Christmas Carol? Starring Michael Caine. That should probably be the kill shot on Michael Caine, but I have to rely on them being the second X on Caine in the first place. That we play... Um, Blues? Oh, fuck, they found their way out. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, we'll go Ghostbusters 2. Via Dan Aykroyd. They know Frank Oz, bro. I'm in trouble. Flintstones. Okay, I know where we're going with Flintstones. We'll go like um, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Very comfortable with all the outs from 10 Cloverfield Lane. They go, babe, John Goodman. We try to abandon you in Barton Fink, but it seems like you know cinema, so I wouldn't be surprised if you can get out of this. But you never know. Everybody's got blind spots. You just got, you got to probe until you find them and hope you get them before they find yours. You're going true grit, okay? We follow that up with Bumblebee. You know a lot about art house films? Let's see what you know about Transformers. They had cast Lifeline. Okay. So they don't even know who Haley Steinfeld is. That's a good start for us. How am I going to find my way out of this? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know another Haley Steinfeld movie. Pitch Perfect, maybe? Is she in Pitch Perfect? Pitch Perfect 3? Okay, we take those. We played a little bit close to the edge, though. Oh, she is in Edge of 17. Oh, the Bumblebee has John Cena in it, man. We could have gotten our way out of there for sure. We run it back. And probably the dude who voices Optimus Prime because the movie starts on Cybertron. So maybe you could just be like Transformers and then it might get you out. I don't know. I don't know. You want a Knight's Tale? We go Dark City. I believe that you're going to find your way out of this one. I'm going to believe that you know the director and you're going to take us to a little known picture from 2004 called iRobot. That's my guess. Stand by me, Kiefer Sutherland. Okay, I'm taking you to Tomcats. Via Jerry O'Connell. Let's see what you know about Jerry O'Connell. What do you know about Jake Busey? Snow Dogs? That's not going to fly here. You're going Kangaroo Jack? Kangaroo Jack? I'd have to know a third Jerry O'Connell movie here, but, and I don't. So instead, we're going to take you to Harold and Kumar, uh, go to White Castle 2004 via Anthony Anderson, and we're in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Anthony Anderson, we're going to burn this mother down. I know where I'm going. Skip, okay, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Guess what? Harold and Kumar go to escape from Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> you get to see way more of the cast off of that. But we burned a skip, bro. They don't know shit about bad movies. A movie of eggs. You got me. You got me, Mint Jams. In a way. In a manner of speaking. Bad? That's disrespectful. First, Harold and Kumar is pretty good. Second one is less good, but I find it funny.
you do have to be drunken first. Very true. Stop adding me. Don't add mint jams, okay? They did what they could. It's not their fault they knew True Grit, but they don't know shit about Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Like, they probably weren't 17 when the first Harold and Kumar came out. So, like, you know, I'm working with an advantage. It's crazy how the movie can be bad, but it counts just the same as a good movie. <laughs> All right. Opponent has left the battle. I don't know what's going on with... Uh, with the free wins, but it is what it is. Taking too long to get IMDB open. It's the 22, one and two score. I mean, if that's it, then it's like a, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy because I've gotten like seven wins on turn one. So like it, my record wouldn't be that scary if people just grew a spine. We'll go bring it on 2000. Finally, I get to go first. Melancholia. Okay, I'm not afraid to be the second Kirsten Dunst X. So I say uh, just go with it. That's not the movie. I'm thinking of something else. I'll go, I'll take you into the Spider-Man caverns. We should always go Spider-Man 1 to take Willem Dafoe out. Unless we could be the third X and drop an inside on them. What's the, um, I can't look. Oh, sorry, Sam Raimi was blocked by my ban. Um, what's the movie? Uh, it's Kirsten Dunst. It's like a 2000s era, like, sex comedy. What? Um, we'll take The Great Gatsby. I don't know anybody else who's in this. It's a, uh, it's a Kirsten Dunst movie where she is on the cover going like, and then uh, Cisco is in it. And it's called something like, go, just go with it. Or like, it's called Get Over It. Thank you. Thank you. Get over it. Not just go with it. Widows. You don't want to be here with me. Okay? You don't want to be in Widows with me. Even if you do know Elizabeth Debicki. Because I'm taking you right back to the Kaluuya-verse. I don't know if you were playing back when Get Out was the meta. Okay? Maybe you were. Maybe you weren't. But we're pretty close to getting you lost in the perfection and horizon line. And then we go straight to Keith David, man. <laughs> we should have had, had them say Get Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little bro hasn't seen Get Out, but he knows that Widow stars Elizabeth Debicki. Maybe that's the director. Maybe I'm being the asshole there. YTA, NTA? I don't know. Maybe. The Bicky. Born Identity. Julia Stiles. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to take you to The President's Wife via Joan Allen. Never mind. I'm going to take you to um, Euro Trip via Matt Damon. <laughs> What's that movie? Maybe it's called The Candidate, something like that. It's called something like that. Down, so you want you want to die on Matt Damon? The Informant, two thousand nine. What you know about the Informant? What do you think I was gonna type here? Ocean's Eleven. Oh, you know it's a Soderbergh picture. Okay, well, how about a little Star Wars? How about The Last Jedi via Benicio del Toro? Sheik Daniel is a great name. Mm 
You go on brick. Okay, I see how we play this. You don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I want to get you out of here. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck on like a, a hard Joseph Gordon-Levitt one. So give me Premium Rush, the, the movie where he's a bicycle messenger. And I don't know anybody else in it. You go, okay, I mean, that's the easiest play in the world. So you know what we do here? We invite you into the Scarlett Johansson universe. We, gotta, we start with Ghost in the Shell, 2017. If you skip me, I become Scarlett Johansson's second ex. And I don't mind that. I, I can find my way out of this. Do you want to... Uh, if you play something, we hit you with under the skin. And we make you find your way out via the director, probably. So it's this is a tough play. There's a lot of strategy involved in this one. Okay, so we go under the skin. But then if they skip me, what am I going to do? Great question. Would this be Matt Damon's third X? I can't afford to look. I'm playing downsizing. It's already been played. We're playing Goodwill Hunting. Matt Damon's been used three times. We're playing Ghost World. And I have a way out. If they skip me, we mill the skip and I know my way out. We play a movie I can't say now that stars someone I don't know, but yeah, 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 yeah. They've casted it. Okay, they didn't use a skip, but we milled a cast. The thing is, on the third X, if they have a skip, we need to give ourselves a way out. Otherwise, it's a skip, skip, draw. If I even remember to click the skips. You don't, you know, Lil Bro doesn't know a Steve Buscemi movie? Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. <sighs> Big Lebowski. I'll take you to Mr. Deeds. That's a John Turturro link right there. I always love to get, oh, oh but Steve Buscemi's in Mr. Deeds. <laughs> He's in Mr. Deeds as the guy with the crossed eyes. I always forget about that. Don't abandon me on Steve Buscemi, bro. Big Daddy. Okay. Take me to um, Hubie Halloween 2020. Steve Buscemi's been used too many times. Take me to Grandma's Boy via Alan Covert. And Rob Schneider and Peter Dante. Now, I'm not really comfortable. This is not in my wheelhouse, but I didn't know Steve Buscemi was in Hubie Halloween, too. Bench warmers. Okay, we get out via Here Comes the Boom. No links were found to this movie. We get out via Tommy Boy, 1995. I can't, I feel like I'm being led into the caves, man. I'm scared. They know more about the Sandler verse than I do. I'm on the back foot. Two cast lifelines, though, is very nice. Two cast lifelines, very nice. We hold. Can't think of a third David Spade movie. Or any Chris Farley movie. All right. I mean, Black Sheep would have put me on the back foot there. Good game. Good game. I do not, do not lose me in the Adam Sandlers, man. I'm in trouble. Because the problem is you get all these X's. Every time you name like two Adam Sandler movies, every actor from all of them is at two X's. They decided they don't want to go again. Okay, ready me? I know, I know my play. I know we go bring it on. We entice you. We entice you to go Kirsten Dunst. Come firewalk with me, Kirsten. Okay, I don't know what you're going to put up on the screen here. Ergo, I'm robbing you of your moment in the spotlight. Didn't type anything else. Thank you for the free win. We will not be rematching that one. Two girls, one game? Sure. I, they, they seem like a gamer. Ten things I hate about you. We go bring it on. Is 
Very, it's, it's cringe. I'm not defending this chatter. This is cringe. Cheaper by the dozen. You're going Gabrielle Union? I'm taking you out of Gabrielle Union, but I do not want to get stuck in Steve Martin. So I'm going the Lizzie McGuire movie. Hillary Duff's not in this one? Okay, fine. The pink pen. No, we, we start with Novocaine. Don't get, don't get stuck. Whoa. Who's in Cheaper by the Dozen? Is that not Steve Martin? Oh, 2022! I was a panic lifeline, but I'm like, bro, what are we doing here with Cheaper by the Dozen? Cheaper by the Dozen, too. Oh, you motherfucker, you the Lizzie. That's, that's interesting tech. Okay. Cheaper by the Dozen 2022. Noted. Now we got to fucking play Two Girls, One Game. Now we got to fucking play. You got, you got, I fell into your opening trap. I milled my most powerful lifeline. Now, let's fucking ball. Cinderella story. The Lizzie McGuire movie, too. Cheaper by the dozen, too. What you know about Cheaper by the dozen? You seem to love it. You played it two times already. Oh, there's no lake to Garden State. They skip me? They skip me, I'm playing Steve Martin movies, bro. They skip me, I'm playing Jerry Maguire. Sean Levy? Okay, we go uh, Sh uh, Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. Never mind. We go The Jerk, 1979. <laughs> Lots of, the, we, we play The Jerk, so they don't play The Jerk. Pink Panther 2, motherfucker, cast me. Jean Reno, we have a way out. Andy Garcia, Alfred Molina, Spider-Man 2. Okay. What you gonna do when I'm turning, I'm turning back because it's hungry? I, I've got every, every connection to this is banned, okay? Every connection to this is banned. You're back in the spider's web. Sam Raimi's blocked by my band, bro. You're running out of time. There's, okay, there's one lifeline down. Alien Covenant starring James Franco. Okay, understandable. We go American Gangster, Ridley Scott. They still got three good lifelines. And I only have time, which is scary. <laughs> you need to use cast on American Gangster? War of the Worlds. I thought Dakota Fanning was in this. We Malcolm X you. I'm scared. I don't have my good lifelines left. Training day. Oh, bro, we're out. We go first reformed. I know everything there is to know about Ethan Hawke. Thank God they didn't play like uh, almost any other. <laughs> uh, we go daybreakers here. Thank God they didn't play almost any other Denzel Washington movie. We got daybreakers. They know. The lighthouse, they're leading me down a, a dangerous path. We go Cosmopolis. They're, they're trying to lead me into the tunnels, and I'm giving them the, the flip, and I'm leading them down my own tunnels. Underwater. Kristen Stewart. I don't know a Robert Pattinson, kills, Robert Pattinson kill shot that wouldn't kill me, too. Twilight Saga Eclipse. Take me to Adventureland. I'm back in my wheelhouse. Scott Pilgrim versus the world via Bill Hader. Baby driver. I mean, this is a hell of a rally. Fault in our stars. Ansel Elgort. The third kind, the fifth wheel. Shaylee, I'm, I'm cooked. I don't know anything else this guy is in. Avengers, Infinity War. Time me, time me, plus 15 seconds. Ansel Elgort. Shailene Woodley, I don't know what the fuck she's in. Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Divergent, maybe, Divergent. Okay, there was, I knew, they're both in it, bro. 
This is bad for me, though. Whiplash. Oh, my God, you let me out. The Tomorrow War, 2021. Okay, I don't, they, I got saved. <laughs> Spider-Man 3, you don't want to be here. I'm telling you, you don't want to be here. Oh no, they got it, Willem Dafoe, third strike. <laughs> there should be a, res, a resign button. I've given up, I've walked, I've made in one. I walked in the bait in one. John Wick, I'm, you, you got me out of here and I love you for it. I love you for it. We go point break 1991, Keanu Reeves. We got saved. The problem is they have a skip, so I need to have a response to whatever my kill shot is. If, that's why the skip is so valuable. They're going the Matrix. I'm going Dracula. I'm going Bram Stoker's Dracula. Let's see what you know about Bram Stoker's Dracula. Because I can get out of this. I need, to, I need to mill your skip. They know about Mank. This is not a drill. They know about Mank. We go Zojack. Code Red. How do they have 11 losses, bro? What's the blind spot? Sports movies. Brothers, the movie we didn't know about earlier. Jake Gyllenhaal was banned by my opponent. Get Shorty, Rene Russo. Nice try. Little bro thought I didn't know Rene Russo. <laughs> Cast Lifeline? Uh, it's got Rene Russo in it. Just so you know, there we go. One lifeline done. Gotti. Oh, fuck you, man. Um, okay. Um, the Godfather. Good try. We go um, from Paris with love so we don't get from Paris with loved. And then we see where they take us. We're, we're at their mercy here on the Travoltaverse. Greece. Xanadu. Problem is, <laughs> if they skip, I don't know what I'm going to do. What the fuck else is Olivia? Maybe she's in the movie Australia because she's Australian. Okay, well, first you start with Grease 2 just in case she had a cameo. <gasps> fuck yes! Get, let me out! I know how to get out of this one too. I know I'm not saying shit, but I know an actress in this movie. What you know about Grease 2, two girls, one game? What do you know about Grease 2? Fuck, you knew that Michelle Pfeiffer was in that shit? That's crazy. We go the recruit, Al Pacino. Now we're going full lifelines, bro. No, no lifelines. Heat, okay. Get lost in Simone. This is an endgame I've studied. It's from the book. It's from the green cover Yasser Sirawan endgame book. Son of a bitch. <laughs> the mask. No, no, no. Um, Night and day. 2010. Okay, okay. I thought I, I, thought I, I, thought I might have had you there. That's fine. I want to lead you into the Cameron Diaz verse. Bruce Almighty. No, no, no. See, I didn't want to go with the Jim Carrey movie. You're going Top Gun. Sensible. We're going Man on Fire. Tony Scott. Tony Scott. We get you off of Tom Cruise. Probably it, the link, the Denzel link's already been used too many times. <laughs> and you're the one who used it. You're the one who used it. We take those. Holy bro. Rematch requested. I'll shake it out here for a second. Whew, good game. Good game. We rematch. Send it. Are, they, are you tweaking your bands? You don't tweak your bands. We don't do any. But you know what? Start me off. I don't, I don't respect Joseph Gordon-Levitt. We go cheaper by the dozen 2022. <laughs> I 
I'm not burning my lifelines this time on Cheaper by the Dozen 2022. I haven't seen it, okay? Surely you have. I was going to say, you must have a response. You're going Garden State. I'm going to keep whipping you around. You're going Garden State. Let's take you back to Alien 1979 via Ian Holm. I even adjusted my glasses. Perhaps a little bit more sodium chloride next time. Aliens, interesting play, okay? Interesting play. We're gonna go the abyss on that one. Let's see, let's see how well-versed you are on the Cameron verse. It helps when they put James Cameron down there, but seems like they might not know that much about the 70s and the 80s. They're, they're saying that James Cameron directed the Avengers. People online are saying James Cameron directed the Avengers. It's Joss Whedon, bro. Avatar 2009. Okay. How about Terminator 1? What you know about Terminator 1? There's a lot to get out. Okay, you know, you know that Arnold Schwarzenegger is in that one. That's a pretty good choice. <laughs> We're going to hit you with a little Lethal Weapon 3. That's another move. I, I thought Danny Glover was in Predator. Maybe he's in Predator 2. I think you have a problem here. I don't think you want to give me a second hit on Sven Ole Thorsen. He's not in that one? Sven Ole Thorsen's not in Lito. I don't even know who it is, but oh, now they got me a third star on Mad Max. What have I done? I skip you. I skip you. Thank God. Well, no, if they hit me with Apocalypto, I play. I mean, they didn't, but I forget. I forget what I play. <laughs> Mad Max, oh, the director, Mad Max Fury Road, of course, what am I thinking? How about Babe, Pig in the City? They hit me with another George Miller. Babe, 19, you think I don't know how to get out of this? Star Trek First Contact, bro. What you know about James Cromwell? He plays the dude. I, the dude who, they, he invented the device that gets you to first contact. Brent Spiner, we got to get out of here. It's scary. We go Independence Day. Peace. No peace. Oh, fuck. Don't play a third Brent Spiner movie on me. Don't play another Star Trek, bro. I'm trapped here. I'm trapped. <laughs> Wild Wild West, thank you for the save. We go Macbeth. Okay, we don't go to Macbeth. We go a haunting in Venice, unfortunately. I wanted to hit him with the like Macbeth 1996. Cast Lifeline, it's got everybody in it. Oh, that's Hamlet, you're right. Mega Mind. Stranger than fiction. I don't know much about Mega Mind, but I know Will Ferrell's in it. You want to get lost in Will Ferrell? Downhill. That's the one I was thinking of. It's the remake of Force Majeure. It's got a cast. It's got a cast. Would I know how to get out of this? <laughs> yeah, Julia Louis-Dreyfus has been in other movies. She's probably been, she's had a cameo in a Marvel movie, I'm sure, in, the, in Phase 4 that I haven't seen. I'm going to open with Wakanda forever if they hit me with a skip. I got to. Will Ferrell's already been used three times. Okay, they hit the button. We go Wakanda forever. Okay, Julie Louis, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> but we milled the skip. That's important. We milled the skip. The, the skip is basically like the first kill shot. You're going Black Panther. And we've only got one X. Okay, we come out of this with a Creed 2 to incept you to say Creed. Excuse me, where's my Michael B. Jordan on this? Oh, he's down here with one X, of course. Because uh, I was going to hit you with a Fruitvale Station. But now you put me in a Creed 2. Okay, so we can't. So, uh, got a, a Sylvester Stallone, a Tessa Thompson movie. Okay, we say sorry to bother you. Now, they seem like they know Kino Cinema, so I'm going to get out. At, I, I don't want to be here. I didn't want to be a third X on Tessa Thompson. That's scary. Thor Ragnarok. Okay, Ghostbusters 2016. 
Now I'm, I feel comfortable again. We're on the first X. That's where we want to be. They go Thor. We go Extraction 2. We've been here before. <laughs> this, no interest. Help us in this. They did this to me, but now they, 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 that's such a big hint, man. It's all right, I can get a third star on Idris Elba with that movie where he's uh, by himself outside. It's called Primal. Okay, whatever. Um, we go The Chronicles of Riddick. We take a little Judy Dench side path. Beast, it's called Beast. Son of a bitch. Primal Beast. We were in the right ballpark, at least. What you know about the Chronicles of Riddick? You know that Vin Diesel's in Guardians of the Galaxy. What you, what you, what the fuck, what the fuck do you know about, um... The Tomorrow War. I was trying to think of a trap, and then I just, I, I lost myself. I was like, what, what is that movie with Lee Pace? I should have gone with the fall, motherfucker. <laughs> should have gone with the fall and lost him in the Tarsum Singh slither. Trying to think of some shit with Lee Pace. Chris, I'm not, I don't think we have a Chris Pratt kill shot in us, to be honest with you. I think I would rather pivot to someone I'm more comfortable with, like a Jack Black, for example. Let me open with a, a little The Cable Guy. It's too easy, but we only got six seconds. But the cable guy is a very comfortable starting spot for me. Now, if they come back with a second Jack Black, we go Nacho Libre. I have a way out of Nacho Libre. They don't even have a skip. They go Matthew Broderick. Interesting. Um, from that, we go Hot Shots Part Deux, Charlie Sheen. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. They're, they're stuck in deep, man. They go Hot Shots Part 1, which you know about Red Dawn, 1984. Third star, Charlie X. <laughs> third star, third X, Charlie Sheen. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Charlie X. Cast Lifeline. I believe there's another 80s actor in this, and you'll find your way out, but I milled the lifeline. That's important to me. Dirty Dancing, Patrick Swayze, Jennifer Grey. Um, I don't want to get stuck in like a roadhouse. So I'm, because, so I'm going to give you roadhouse. And I'm going to hope that you give me something like Ghost, which I have a way out of. Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. Point Break. I got a way out of Point Break. We go The Hurt Locker. Directed by Catherine Bigelow. So you don't know shit about James Cameron, including the shit that his ex-wife made. You don't know shit about James Cameron. Avengers 2012. Okay. Stardust, 2007. It's not Joss Whedon, huh? I'm going to say Iron Man 1. What you know about Iron Man 1? Maybe I can find a way to lure you back into Sam Raimi. Like, we'll pull you back into Sam Raimi from here. Captain Marvel. This is going to put you in a tough spot. Oh, I was going to say Captain Marvel. <laughs> I'm going to say The Avengers 2. The Age of Ultron. Scarlett Johansson has been banned by my opponent. Changing Lanes, 2002. Okay, now do you know that this is a great movie? Do you know the other A-list actor who's in this? There's a few like B-list actors as well. I don't know, it, it relies on you knowing Changing Lanes. You do, you know that Ben Affleck's in this. Okay, what do you know about James Bond? You zenial. You know shit about James Bond? We've been down this path before. Snakes on a plane is a death sentence. It would have been because they had uh, three X's on Samuel L. Jackson. It would have been a death sentence. Halle Berry. Okay, we go Miss Congeniality via Benjamin Bratt. 
I'm, I'm trying to keep you. I'm not going actor or actress number one. I'm going actress number two, okay? You hit me with gravity. We take you to Itu Mama Tambien. Where do we go from there? I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Rogue One is Star Wars story. Cast me. <laughs> ah, okay. Dodgeball. I, I should have known this had Mads Mikkelsen in it. I just, I, I, for a minute there, I lost myself. They're bringing the heat, no doubt about that. They go Serenity. I go I Robot. You're gonna know how to get out of this, and I should have gone like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. It would have been a fucking kill shot, bro. Everyone knows Will Smith's in this fucker. <clears throat> I am a legend. But do you know who else is in After Earth? You may or may not. You may or may not. Nobody from the Matrix. Good game. Good game. <sighs> we go again. Note to self, they know no Jaden Smith movies. Ten things I hate about you. We go cheaper by the dozen, too. 2022, we're not messing around here. Chicken Little starring Zach Braff. We go The Last Kiss. We bait the third X on a Zach Braff. Because I, 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 it's hard to get out of The Last Kiss. It's very... Is easy to get out of Garden State. Thank you. I appreciate that. So from Garden State, I'm going to take you to How High, starring Method Man. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. If they hit me with a skip, I'm going to need a cast on this one because I don't think I could name another Method Man movie. <laughs> but I think, I think I could find my way out with a cast. There's got to be, like maybe Eugene Levy's in this or something. They've skipped me. I cast. Mike Epps, Jeffrey Jones, Fred Willard. Okay, this is good. What do you know about Best in Show 2000? We milled the skip. Fred Willard is basically like Eugene Levy. They got a, they got a cast on this? I'm losing you in the Christopher Guest Geist, bro. But there, there's a lot of cast members in this, but they're all in multiple Christopher Guest movies, okay? All lifelines down. Disrespectful, you hit me with a skip on how high. Good games. Good games. Fondure, a 100% win rate. Fred Willard sweep. 100% win rate, kind of scary. But now we know, cheaper by the dozen 2022, Gabrielle Union, Zach Braff. In case someone plays it against us, or if they make us Hit, they hit us with a skip to get out of it. Hey, they got their 2 0 and 0. They can't have more than two wins in two games. We don't know what we're dealing with here. They go bring it on, Gabriel Union. Okay, you know what? What happens if you go bring it on again? Gabrielle Union was not in that one. What about bring it on? 
Worldwide cheer smack. Okay. Well, well, you know what? We'll lead you where we know where we want to be. We want to be in Spider-Man 2020, uh, 2002 without giving you... Oh, well, I guess you could just Willem Dafoe out now that I think about it. They have decided to Willem Dafoe out. We can't let them trap us with an inside. So I think this is a proactive cast. And we'll play something like um, Doctor Strange. I hate to burn a cast early, but I'm not being the second X on Willem Dafoe and getting insided right away. I didn't know who's in the movie. Had to be done. Oh, it's true. I could just play inside. <laughs> okay, we go pirate radio. Excuse me, they don't have it? Um, okay, we go uh, uh, King Arthur 2004. I can't believe they don't have pirate radio, man. That's called The Boat That Rocks. Oh, so it is. We go Gravity. I love being the first Alfonso Cuaron player. Okay, you want to go speed. Okay, you want to go speed? Bet you didn't know that this guy's in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Now I know. Now I, I've reverse engineered a, another connection out of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I forgot that he was in Speed. Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off is also in Speed. Godzilla 2014. They're going straight back to Godzilla. Okay, that makes sense. I see what they were doing there. Godzilla 1998. We take you to Leon the Professional. That's, that's a classic Jean Reno sidestep in my world. And they go, Brothers, 2009. We know who's in this. Jake Gyllenhaal. So we hit you with a Nightcrawler because it was done to us. Sound of Metal with Riz Ahmad. This is a problem for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with a rogue one. But then if you hit me with a third strike Riz Ahmed, I'm in trouble. We gotta we gotta use a skip on that one and then hope that they get out. They go Venom? That's easy, bro. Welcome to Rampart, starring Woody Harrelson. That's an instant send back. What you know about Woody Harrelson? You want to get a third Woody Harrelson? I'm a simple man. I go Kingpin and I see what you know about Farrelly Brothers movies. You want me to find a way out of this? That's no problem. There's any multitude of ways out. They go Groundhog Day. Good, good play. Good play. Groundhog Day. Mm, I hate to give them like a, a Bill Murray out, but I, I like to play Broken Flowers so I don't have to answer Broken Flowers. Let's see what they know about B Bill Murray. I'm going to make you kill me on like a Caddyshack or something like that. The Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou, that's not going to happen. I'm taking your ass back to Bottle Rocket. Perhaps a bit more sodium chloride next time. He is, uh, Woody Harrelson is not in this, and Wes Anderson did not direct it. Shanghai Noon, interesting. Owen Wilson, how about you, me, and Dupree? A lot of people might not know. I, I know how to get out of that one. It does put me on two X's for Chris Elliott, but that's life. It's not Jim Carrey. It's not, it's not uh, Paul Rudd or Steve Carell. Cast Lifeline will give you Matt Dillon. And Kate Hudson. Kate Hudson, Fool's Gold, 2008. Kate Hudson, I'm going to give you um, the skeleton key. And then I have a way out of it if you hit me with a skip. I'm not that familiar with the Hudson verse. They're going Glass Onion, okay? We're going um, Primal Fear. Ed Norton. We are, we're playing from behind on lifelines here, so we got a hold. Illusionist. You want another Ed Norton movie? Mm, he's in a lot of good stuff. What do you know about The Incredible Hulk? That might be like his, his least star-studded cast. <laughs> What do you know about the Incredible Hulk, bro? Do you know that it has Tim Roth in it? That's surprising to me. 
Um, I, we go Pulp Fiction and we play the first Travolta to try to lose you in Gotti. Apparently we, oh no, don't lose me in Tim Roth. Tim Roth is in Pulp Fiction. He's one of the dudes who robs the diner. Sorry, this is, this is why God gave you a skip in case you get Tim Rothed. Shaft, 2019, Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know who else is in this. <laughs> Obviously. Um, so we go Changing Lanes. Changing Lanes has been a classic for me. I know it's the second X on Samuel L. Jackson, but let's put him on the back foot. Maybe they have to say like Captain Marvel. Snake, oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make, you gotta get your way out of snakes on a plane, okay? Probably a draw. Not a draw. Wow! Movie 43, Bobby Cannavale. Okay, I know what I want to do. I want to go X-Men 2000. They still have their skip, which sucks ass, bro. Because I got it. When they have a skip and I don't, that means I need to get a kill shot on something that I can also get out of in case they skip me. Yesterday, me and your opponent went to a 139 round game. Okay, duly noted. This is a real problem for me because I don't know what else uh, Ben Schwartz is in. Wait, Jim Carrey's in this movie. This is not a problem. We go The Mask. Invite them. Invite them. Sex tape. Okay. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. They've got a, they've got a very, very high breadth of knowledge about movies of all varietals here. So we just got to keep them going. I told you you can't underestimate a 2-0-0 opponent. Um, I feel like we could know a third Nicholas Stoller movie. This is probably Judd Apatow. Oh, I'm second ex Jonah Hill because I wanted to take a shot in the dark on the director. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? They go super bad. I mean, we can get out of super bad, bro. A Seth Rogen movie? How about 50 50? I'm the second ex on Seth Rogen! Should have done Emma Stone, bro. She was enlisted. <clears throat> Prisoners. Now I'm the second ex Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm, I'm on the back foot, bro. I'm getting comboed here. I'm up against the wall. We had to go Maggie Gyllenhaal off of that one. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I don't know who the fuck's in this. <laughs> Cinderella. 2015 Avengers Endgame plus 15 seconds Ben Kingsley's in this uh, Iron Man 3 Ben Kingsley plays the villain in Prince of Persia oh my god <laughs> me turning this off on an airplane 15 years ago is coming back to bite me in the ass from hell let's see what you know about from hell motherfucker I Rupert Farley I thought this shit had Joseph Fiennes in it that's pure luck. They skip me on that one? I know where we must go. Austin Powers 2, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Okay, we milled a skip. We're, they got a little extra time. Getting that skip helps out a lot. They go Love Guru. That's easy. We go um, Baby Mama. The Romany Malco Connection. Mean Girls. Uh, I don't really want to go Freaky Friday if I can avoid it. I'm going to go, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. I don't want to go, I, don't, I want to keep myself flexible here. I don't, I'm not getting any hopium. They got lifelines. They got, they got lots of stuff. They play Time Traveler's Wife. We're, if we're going to get a kill on Rachel McAdams, I was going to play the Time Traveler's Wife. <laughs> 
There's got to be. Oh, it's red eye. And just see if you, it's possible. It's possible. You don't know that Oppie was in this. It's possible. They know that Oppie is in this. Okay, noted. We go um, A Knight's Tale. Heath Ledger. Now we, we brought it right back to 10 Things I Hate About You. Flight of the Phoenix, 2004. They go Firewall. Oh, that's rough, man. <laughs> How about Wimbledon? And then I have Kirsten Dunst Band. But they're probably just going to go some Paul Bettany shit I don't, I'm not familiar with. But maybe they're like, no, they, they just go for the Paul Bettany kill shot. But it, oh, they, they walked into the Kirsten Dunst Band. It's all right, he's in the Avengers. Headhunters? Mads Mikkelsen, they're both Danish. Um, um, Doctor Strange. Uh, Druk. Another round. This is a problem. Avengers Endgame. Um, Gosford Park. Oh. <laughs> Good game. Good game. You got me fair and square. I mean, that's a spicy game right there. Good game. I would rematch you for sure. I could not name a movie that Nikolai Coaster Waldau was in. I know he's in a movie where they go to the Arctic. I remember that. Gods of Egypt. I'm taking my win. I'm out. Fondor, I didn't realize you were a coward. Holy. I wouldn't have even typed that in chat. I would have just like alted out of alt F4 out of the tab and then like lived in obscurity. I wouldn't admit to cowardice. I'm not gonna ban them. They beat me fair and square.